Even the most passionate of video editors would tell you that they would still do anything to cut down their time spent editing. You could of course pay someone else to do it, or you could automate many of these tedious tasks in one of the most popular video editing apps like CapCut. Now, for much of my work, I still use NLDs like FCP and Resolve, but what's unique about CapCut is the way it was designed around social media content. So for this exact use case, it is incredibly well optimized. I will walk you through five of my favorite time savers in CapCuts for desktop, starting with auto captions. If you've ever tried doing subtitles for a long video from scratch, it's not the hardest thing in the world, but it certainly feels like the most painful few hours you'll ever spend in front of a screen. The auto captions feature makes this almost trivial. Just go to the text tab, look for auto captions and press create. Easy as that, within moments, your captions are done. I do find the captions to be rather accurate. It does occasionally get a few words wrong, but by this point, it's already done 90% of the work for you, including the very tedious process of timing the captions. What I usually do now is just do a pass and make a number of tweaks, and I have a perfectly subtitled video in very, very little time. What I really appreciate is how you can make blanket adjustments to the formatting of all the captions, but also single out one particular particular line which you want to show up differently if you wish to do that. If you happen to be on the pro plan, then you've even got the additional option of exporting your captions as a separate SRT file instead of just burning them into your video. Now, here's one more feature I'm about to show you which requires the pro plan, but this one is almost unbelievably powerful. This feature is called remove filler words, but it can actually do a bit more than that. Simply right click on a clip, then select remove filler words. CapCut will then analyze and remove for you any pauses, repeated dialogue, and filler words like um, ums in the middle of sentences. It's even done with a full-on transcript and it clearly marks out which segments CapCut intends to remove. You absolutely still have control over what you want to leave in or remove, and even that's been simplified to simply ticking a checkbox for any additional line you want deleted or unchecking any elements you still wish to include in the video. This tool is seriously invaluable for long unscripted takes. It's almost a one-click process between a lengthy raw take and a tight edit. So like, just to make my point, I'm going to show you how sometimes you pause to take a moment thinking about what you're um, gonna say next to the camera. All these little filler words you'll spend time tidying up in the um, edit. Like there's now a way to automate that process. So like, just to make my point, I'm going to show you how sometimes you pause to take a moment thinking about what you're um, gonna say next to the camera. All these little filler words you'll spend time tidying up in the um, edit. There's now a way to automate that process. Feature number three is again, very simple, but extremely useful. And it's called split scene. It's a lifesaver when you want to use clips from a pre-existing video that's already been completed. For example, if I want to use clips from one of my previous projects in the video I'm currently editing, instead of pulling up the entire project file from my archives, I can just take that final video, which I've published, run split scene on it and pick up the shots, which I need you just right click split scene and it automatically breaks up the video into its individual shots. Sometimes when I'm working on new product launches, I also get access to media assets like promo videos. In cases like these, I find the best way to use split scene is actually within the import window. I would then have individualized clips in my media browser for me to simply bring onto my timeline in a very tidy manner. Feature number four is not so much automation, but more of extreme convenience. In CapCut, you can create video thumbnails without ever having to leave the app. Just place your playhead on any frame, which could be thumbnail material, then press this pencil icon to the left of your timeline. Press edit, then you can begin adding text, apply effects, and choose backgrounds for it. 
Or you can also pick any of the templates as a starting ground if you really want to work fast. They're all fully customizable and you can also crop your frame from this editor view. Once you're done, just press complete and you don't really have to worry about it from this point on because once you export your finished video, CapCut will save a JPEG of that thumbnail alongside your video. So when you go ahead and post it onto YouTube, the thumbnail's right there in the exact same folder your video was in. I've saved the truly game-changing feature for last because quite frankly, if this process was not automated, I think nobody would be using it for social media content. I'm of course talking about auto cutout. This feature is more of a thing for vertical short form videos like TikTok, but nobody's gonna stop you from using it for long form content because you absolutely can. CapCut's auto cutout feature is optimized for human subjects and you'll find it under the cutout tab. Auto cutout is this third checkbox down here, just select it on the clip you want the background to be removed from. And once it's done processing, the transparent areas will reveal anything under that layer of video. It works just like green screen and rotoscoping, except for this to work, you don't need to shoot them in front of a green screen, nor do you need to painstakingly outline your subject frame by frame by hand. And when you're doing this, don't forget that you actually still have full control over the scale and position of the video that's been cut out. So this right here is a process which would have traditionally been extremely expensive in terms of resources, again, boiled down to just ticking a checkbox. So those were my top five cap cut features, which will help you save some time, or maybe even a lot of time in editing. I'd recommend actually giving these a try for yourself because CapCut is absolutely free to download for both desktop and mobile. In fact, there is even a web version if you don't want to download anything at all. Some of these features I've covered on the desktop version, you might also find on the mobile version. And again, I really do think that these features are wonderful to have simply because of the amount of time and effort they can save you. There was a point in time when I thought a good video editing software might never come cheap, but the reality here today is it very well perhaps might even come completely free.